Lions, tigers, and bears? Oh, my. Yeah, well, not exactly. How about <laughs> hawks, owls, and maybe the occasional llama? That is the day in the life of the Critter Crew at the Salt Lake International <laughs> Airport. The Critter Crew is a department inside the airport whose job is to wrangle the animals who hang out at the airport. Chris Jones with more tonight. Chris, we're having a little bit of fun with the story, but really, uh, Part of this is no laughing matter. This could be really dangerous. Yeah, yeah, this is very serious work that these guys do. I mean, remember when Sully Sullenberger had to put his plane down in the Hudson River? Well, that was because of animals. It was a bird strike. Well, there is a crew here at Salt Lake International that does everything they can to make sure that never happens again. The jumbo jets. Red tail hawks. Commuter planes, American kestrels, are not the only things flying above. Gray horned owls, barn owls, and around. Deer outside the fence. Salt Lake International Airport. I'm a wildlife biologist. And Mike Smith and his team of six hammer out ideas. This is a trap I designed and built. And sort through ways. This is just zip ties. I got a lot of ideas in my head. To keep him from meeting him. Smith, I was a kid that when that nobody else played with because I was so weird. Is a self-proclaimed odd duck. I was the kid with the box and the string trying to catch the bird in my backyard when I was five years old. He is a tinkerer. You just don't go to the burrowing owl store and buy a burrowing owl trap. So I just made this up in my head. And an animal lover who is obsessed with bird and flying safety. So you think about this stuff, it seems like all day long. All the time. I can be eating dinner with my wife on a date and think, oh, I just come up with something. She gets mad because I'll pull out my notepad and write something down. These crews, we've been doing this every day, all day. We'll fly around the airport, almost around the clock. <laughs> the airport is in a migratory bird path and is an inviting habitat for all kinds of animals. It's a red-tailed hawk. Like this little guy, perched on some airport equipment. Those planes are not gonna disturb that bird. He's not gonna leave. He's hunting, he's not watching the planes fly by. And is a potential danger. We've gotta chase it off the airfield. We can't just let it set there. And Mike's guys will try to chase the bird off. <laughs> They'll fire noisy, non-lethal rounds near him. <laughs> to get him to go away. We might spend two hours to haze that bird off the airfield. If they don't haze him. This is a male American kestrel. They'll trap him and mark him. This one will be kept here for less than 24 hours, then released into the wild like these birds before him in a place like Delta, more than 100 miles away. We relocated 390 raptors last year. Birds are what they deal with most at Salt Lake International, but not the only thing. I heard a report of a llama. He wandered near the airport from a farm close by and was chased off. Deer also live nearby and are an occasional issue, so they built another fence and a small canal. We spend a lot of time trying to chase those, those deer back outside the fence. Years ago, there was a cougar that came down. On the or how about the thousands of gulls who used to nest a mile and a half north of Salt Lake International? They would fly right over the airport. So the airport, working with the landowner, trucked in a bunch of pigs to deter the birds. Apparently, gulls don't like swine. Gulls came down to try and nest on there. They saw the pigs. They were threatened by the pigs. They relocated. Just never know what tomorrow's going to bring, that's for sure. I wake up nights, people can't sleep. I just wake up thinking, OK, if I tweak this and do this, this trap will work better. For Mike, these birds and this airport are always on his mind. I'm excited to come to work. It drives my wife nuts. She says, I spend more time here than I do at home. So that animals and planes always miss a connecting flight. If we can keep the birds away from the planes, we're keeping the flying public safe. We're also keeping the birds safe, because in a bird strike, the birds lose every time. So they've dealt with other animals as well. In 2007, you may remember this, there were a couple of kangaroo in the cargo hold of one of the planes. That kangaroo, one of them, got away and was bounding around on the runway. They had to shut everything down to capture him. But the majority of what they deal with here at Salt Lake International is birds. They do a pretty good job of it. Back to you. <laughs> Interesting story, Chris. Thanks.